In today's message, I wanna to talk to all the women and tell you why it's important that you stop supporting women that move like Kim Kardashian. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the most high, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, just this week, Kim Kardashian did a interview where she was talking about how hard it is being a single mother. And she was talking about she didn't think it would ever be this difficult or this hard. She also talked about crying at night, you know, crying herself to sleep. Go back and check that interview out. But the reason you got to stop following and supporting women like this as a woman is because there's a strong delusion there. As a woman, you got to be delusional to think that you are capable of doing the job that the Most High Yah intended for two people to do and think that you can do it on your own. You are a delusional woman if you want to have a family while holding on to your independence as a woman. Delusional. You know, when we look at single mothers that have raised children, these children have the worst statistics. Worst statistics. When you look at how women like this move, she's a part of the statistic. That's why the divorce rate for women is so high. 70 to 80% of women are the ones filing for divorces out of all the married women. 90% if they're educated. On this interview, she was talking about how hard it was, you know, having to do her daughter's hair and having to give her kids attention. But out of this, you got to you got to see the smoke screen. She's not complaining about how hard it is trying to be a sex symbol. You know, she's not complaining about how hard it is trying to be a lawyer. I wouldn't hire her if I had the doggone money to pay that doggone price. Wouldn't hire her, strong delusion. But she's not complaining about the worldly things that she desires to do. It's just that she places her own desires and will over the will of what the Most High Yah is of her being a mother. Men out here, Kanye, like, you made that bed. You got to lay in that. You chose her. You got to lay in that. But it's, it's these women are coming out and proving themselves wrong. One day, I'm independent, don't need nobody. The next day, divorced, had a family, had something that could have been prosperous, self-destructed, now complaining about she's crying herself to sleep. And I told you, these single mothers don't deserve your sympathy. They don't. Because here's the thing, she will try to get the same honor as a woman who is a widow. 
in the Most High Yah talks about how we are to treat widows, to cover them because they're unprotected. Kim Kardashian's husband didn't die. She chose not to be with this man. We talking about a woman that's getting $200,000 a month in child support. Now here's the thing. It's some women out here that fear the Most High Yah, that want to be the women of the Bible, that are pleasing to Most High, that are pleasing to the Most High Yah, that are virtuous, that are prudent, that are rare, and that are truly wife materials. But it's rare, it's not common. Kim Kardashian is a modern woman who is altogether common when it comes to that mindset and she comes from a wicked line of women. Look at the family, look at the women in the family and look at the nonsense that they've been a part of. Thicker than thieves, you can't follow these women. You can't follow them because they're not leading you towards the Most High Yah. Forget her body, forget her looks, forget whatever Kim Kardashian got going on. Like, it's gonna get to the point where women gotta say, you know what? We're not supporting these women getting up on interviews and on TV saying this nonsense. But you gotta be a woman born of the spirit. You gotta be a woman that fears Yah to understand what I'm saying. If not, you gonna continue making excuses. If not, you gonna continue making excuses for women like her, possibly because you got that mindset possibly because there ain't no light in you. Man, it's very important for women to not look up to modern women like Kim Kardashian. You wanna see an example of what a woman should be? A woman that's gonna make it into the kingdom? Read your doggone Bible. Knock the dust off of that instead of supporting wicked women like Kim Kardashian. And that, you see the, it, it, even, even though Kanye might not have it all together, you can see he's serious about his kids. But there is no headship with a wicked woman. I'm gonna say that again. There is no headship with a woman that don't wanna be covered. These women nowadays wanna have all the kids in the world, but don't want to be covered. They wanna move in the role of a man. And when you, when you think that you can do that as a woman, don't expect it to get any easier, cause it's not. And here's the thing, Kim Kardashian will never be able to remarry. Why? She's already shown her cards and what her mindset is. She just gonna continually keep going through the same cycle. She'll date. She will definitely date and accumulate bodies, but nobody will come along and marry her unless they are a plum fool. Plum fool, because you see the caliber of man she went after only to trick him in the end, only to trick this man in the end. Man, you think these men would be out here signing these doggone marriage licenses if they knew these women was gonna flake on them? And a lot of modern women wonder why men are afraid of marrying the Western woman because 70% of the divorces are filed by women. 90% if they're educated. Women are flaking on men. Ain't worth they wait and go. I don't care what kind of cosmetics she come up with. I don't care what she got going on in a worldly sense. You do not want these women as wives. You do not want these women as mothers because they gonna pollute your kids. Instead of teaching, you know, what the scripture says, older women are to be reverent in behavior, not slanders of too much wine. I'm gonna post that scripture here. Kim Kardashian ain't teaching that. She teaching them kids and them girls how to be independent. You don't need no man. I didn't need your daddy. Well, why'd you take, why did you request $200,000 if you don't need them? They want the provision without the presence of a man. And that's why she's crying herself to sleep at night. That's why, you know, it, 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 it's going to continue to be hard. Ain't nobody finna come in there and deal with that. Come behind Kanye West and have to deal with her nonsense and her strong delusion. Y'all women better wake up. You better wake up because I'm telling you, once you show your hand like that, you're going to have to do a complete 
180 and have repentance and deliverance in order to be worth a damn. In order to be worth a damn. To be born again of the water and the spirit. Because without that, I'm telling you, keep on following women like Kim Kardashian and listening to everything she says. Well, I'm a supporter because, you know, she's a single mom. Man, she don't deserve no honor. She don't deserve no honor. You got widows doing a better job at mothering and that were better wives than Kim Kardashian. And y'all sitting out here giving her all the sympathy in the world. Shame on you. Closer to God Ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight. Pow.